Hi guys, I'm Gracie. Welcome to my video. And I know it's August 3rd, but I think it's time to start playing our Halloween costumes because if you wait any longer, it's just, you're gonna run out of time. And I wanted to give some ideas to the girls who wanted to be a little more fashionable. And obviously, there's no costume that no one's done before. But these are, these are a little more elevated, a little more cool, in my opinion. So let's jump right in. Okay, first off, this might be a given, but I'm gonna say Chapel Roan because you can do it by yourself. She's easily recognizable this year. She has really gone from like a singer to pop star status. And if you have like a group of 10 people, you could all be different chaperones. You could also really like dress up. You could wear wigs. You could do full glam makeup. Like this is your chance to feel like you're on RuPaul's Drag Race. Like, ooh, and also I feel like this goes for almost all of these options I'm gonna say, but you could go for a cold look or a warm look depending on the weather where you live. Because I live in the South, so it's probably still gonna be warm here on Halloween. We don't really have to worry about it being cold, but I know up North, it could be a lot colder. You have the option to sort of wear like a big gown that could keep you warm and like the wig, maybe some boots, or you could wear like a smaller outfit. So if it's warm outside, you're cold. You see what I'm saying? Okay, next option I'm gonna say American Girl Dolls. This would be so cute and it would be so fun to do as a group if everyone was like their favorite American Girl doll or they can dress up as the one they had when they were growing up and if you still have it, you can bring it with you. I feel like their outfits are so cute and they're iconic, they're recognizable. I never had an American Girl doll growing up and I really wanted one, but I did see the Kit Kittredge movie and I loved her and if I saw someone, with that outfit on, I would recognize who they were, especially if they were in a group, because I can recognize a couple of other ones. You know, the one, the movie with Olivia Rodrigo. If you were her, I would still recognize it because I've seen the cover of that like movie poster before. And I feel like that would be so cute. And I have never seen anyone dress up as an American Girl doll before. I feel like it would be, I feel like it'd be so good. I don't know. Okay, the next one's not as like obscure or rare, but I feel like it's so cool when someone walks into a party and they're dressed as a Wes Anderson character. And I'm not just saying that because my girlfriend and I dressed up as Sam and Susie from Moonrise Kingdom last year, but you could be anyone fan from Fantastic Mr. Fox, anyone from Royal Tannenbaums, Moonrise Kingdom, you name it. Any Wes Anderson movie, you're recognizable you're cool. Their outfits themselves are cool. They have fun props. I don't, I don't care. If Fantastic Mr. Fox was a movie I saw when I was 10, everyone knows that film. If you dress up as someone from any of the movies, I'm like, yeah, you have taste. You're cool. It doesn't matter. Plus it's fun to like just spark up a conversation if you're going somewhere where you don't know that many people. Someone who knows the movie will come up to you and you automatically have something to talk about, which is just so great for someone as awkward as me because... I have nothing to talk about and I don't know how to talk to people. I'm just like, hey, so what do you do for work? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just ask them questions, but this way you could talk about something you know you both like. I feel like that that's an added layer of protection almost. <laughs> okay, next I was going to say the girl with the green ribbon tied around her neck, that story you read when you were a kid where the girl, spoiler alert, she lives her life and then when you take the ribbon off her neck, her head's not connected. And also Orion Carlotto dressed up as this, and that's the picture I'm using because that's the only picture really you can find of someone doing this costume. And it's so cute and customizable. You could wear like something that really re looks like the picture in the book, or you could wear like a white flowy baby doll dress or some cute little ballet flats. And I feel like it'd be so cute and customizable. You could wear stuff you already have in your closet, which is just so much more sustainable than buying things for a costume you might only wear once. And also, Orion Carlotto is like the it girl. Anything she has been for Halloween, you can just go through her Instagram and find all of her Halloween costumes and pick one of those and you will be undeniably cool because she is undeniably cool and she did it. Also, another cute one where you could maybe wear something like a baby doll dress that's something you already own would be like a clown which sounds funny but if you wear like a cute clown outfit like you have the little puff balls a cute little hat you can do fun makeup i'm not talking like pennywise i'm not talking 2020 tiktok i'm talking like you could wear some dark red bloomers a white like mesh top again the ballet flats you could even like circus new york literally has 
the most comfortable ballet flats not sponsored i have black ones but they also have red ones that could match your hypothetical bloomers and maybe your hat it'd be so cute okay this next one i'm really excited about because i feel like i've never seen someone dress up as sarah from labyrinth and if you haven't seen labyrinth it is so cool it's a little scary because you know the cgi wasn't the greatest and there's puppets but the puppets are what makes it cool and it's like dark fantasy it's like i think 90s maybe 80s it's like never ending story vibes but different david bowie's in it he keeps coming up might as well just dress up as him but sarah herself is literally an it girl plus there's an outfit that requires less effort you know like the white long sleeves the vest the jeans long brunette hair boom you're her or you could dress up in the full like gown full hairdo you look like a princess and you're a cool character what more could you ask for it could also be like a couple's costume that might be a little weird if you're but the david bowie character is so cool and it doesn't have to be like a couple costume but if you have a couple or a duo duo is the word i'm looking for cool it would be a little more difficult than the other options i've given for the gown but i feel like it's just so cool it would be worth it if you start working on it now okay the next idea i have is phantom of the opera which i personally have never seen but the music from it is amazing and when i was a kid i had a best friend whose older sister was absolutely obsessed with the movie so i'm familiar with like the look the music the feel the vibe and it just from an outside perspective as someone who hasn't seen it it seems cool so i can only imagine how cool it is once you actually know the story but I feel like the outfits are so cool, iconic. Even if, like me, you haven't seen the movie, you're gonna recognize who it is. It's like if you showed up as Romeo and Juliet. So I feel like that's another like iconic and it's a little bit more fashionable than just like, I'm a fairy, which nothing wrong with being something that's more recognizable, like a fairy, an angel, a devil, whatever. But I'm trying to go a little bit above and beyond just like surface level. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, even a witch could be fashionable. I'm just trying to think more outside of the box. Put more thought into it so you don't have to, you know what I'm saying? The next one, again, is another one I've seen done quite a few times, but I feel like it's just so cool. It doesn't matter. But Marie Antoinette, I know she wasn't, like, a good person. You don't need to give me a history lesson in the comments. Let's just say you're being the movie character, Marie Antoinette, because I love Sofia Coppola. The dress would be fun. You could have a cake prop. The makeup. Your friends could all dress up as Marie Antoinette and you could all look different. You could just, I feel like it's just fun. It's chic. Yes, it's been done before. Who cares? I don't have anything else to say, but I just think the look is so cute. And I know the movie is also kind of controversial because you either love it or you hate it. But obviously I loved it. What's, what's left to say? Okay, that was the last Halloween costume idea that I had, but I want to do another video where I do like 50 to 100 Halloween costume ideas. I just wasn't going to be able to give them all their own mood board moment like I did with these. And these ones are like my personal favorites that I would love to see people dress up as. So I want to give them their own like moment to shine. And I feel like also they're just like more elevated. I felt like they needed their own category because with the 50 to 100 Halloween costumes I'm going to do to an for another video, I was thinking about splitting it up between like single costume, duo or couple costumes, and then anywhere from like trios to groups. So I was going to split it up already, but these ones just felt like they literally needed their own category because, you know, some of them could be couples, singles, trios, and I didn't want them to get like lost in the sauce. If you did enjoy this and you have any ideas, you can leave them down below. If you decide to dress up as any of these, if I've given you some inspiration, you should let me know. Once you dress up as them, tag me on Instagram if you want to post it. I would love to see them, especially if someone does a group costume of chapel rounds. I need to see it. But anywho, if you like this video, thank you so much. If you want to give it a like, give me a little subscribe, give me a comment. I appreciate all of that. 